Welcome back to another edition of Our City. In the second half, I'm pleased to be joined by William Reyes, the Public Information Officer for the City of Elizabeth. And Bill, you're usually on the other side of the camera, so what's yeah, this, this like? Is, this is great. You know, uh, normally I call people uh, to book them on the show, and, and, you know, first they're excited, and then they get nervous about the cameras. I always tell them, don't worry, it's easy, you'll get on. But you know what, now being on this side, it's a little nerving. Oh, it's get out of here. <laughs> uh, now, there's a new program that you and I have been working on that we both discovered actually at the U.S. Conference of Mayors, and it's called Nixle, N-I-X-L-E. And tell us about what it is and what it does. Well, Nixle is America's new community information service. And basically what it is, is a service that you sign up for as a resident. And when you sign up to this free service, you get text messages, web messages, and email messages that come straight from an agency like the municipality, like City Hall. And it is completely free. And these messages, anything from a traffic accident that we're reporting around that's closing down a main street or a community event that's going to take place. And this, you can get this through email or texting. Right. So what you do is you go to Nixle and then you put in that either you want the information through text, through web, or through email, or through all three of them. And, and how, do you, how do you subscribe? So you go to Nixle.com and you hit the register That's button. N-I-X-L-E. Right, dot com. And then you hit the register button, you pick the city of Elizabeth, and then there's about five different steps, but they're easy. Um, you put your name, your address, then you put in, if you're going to text, if you're going to receive text, put in your text number, your uh, cell phone number. Then you go in through, um, if you want, there's demographics if you want to put in, but it's optional. And then you can email people, let people know you're on it, but that's also optional. And once you're signed up, you start receiving messages instantly. And uh, third-party companies and spam is always a problem with mainframe computers and desktops and laptops. And uh, how do we avoid that with Nixle? Well, we made sure before we signed on as a municipality that there were no third parties involved that people that signed up would not start receiving spam messages or phone calls or emails. And we did some research, we found out that does not happen. We called other towns, not only in New Jersey, but in other states to make sure that the people who signed up for this program did not receive spam or messages or any third party involvement. And um, the company is actually um, created by a former uh, uh, prosecutor. So he made sure that some of the things that happen with other websites don't happen here as far as annoying things like spam. The, you, you talked about the Texas. I mean, can the Texas and the information target a specific neighborhood or a specific area, or are the messages aimed at everyone that signed up for Nixle? Well, this is a great thing about Nixle. For example, if you sign up and, and you live in a certain area, and there is a community meeting that's happening in your area, what we do is I'll put in the address of the community center that the meeting's going to take place, and then I'll put a one-and-a-half-mile radius on it. And then from that point, from the center point, which will be the media community room, for a mile and a half radius, those are the only people that will receive that message. Or if there's uh, an event that's citywide, then I'll just put for all, and then everyone will receive it. So it is specific to your neighborhood, and that's why the address is in the And if you don't use your phone for Texas, you've talked about other ways that you can use Nixle. So it will send a message to your email, or if you want, you can also just go to nixle.com and check up to see what messages you've gotten. Now, can you receive messages if you want it from some other location? If you say you had an interest in uh, a property in southern Jersey or western Jersey, could you sign up for Nixel in that neighborhood? Yeah, the great thing about this program is that, for example, you live in Elizabeth, let's say you work in Newark, and you have a babysitter who's in Jersey City, let's just say. So you put your Elizabeth address, then you put your babysitter's address in Jersey City, and your work in uh, Newark. And then you will receive messages that pertain to that area, that neighborhood, from all three locations. The, the informing the residents about this service, we just started a couple of months ago. Right. And uh, you're on the show talking about it today. But there's also, it's on the website, and what other areas have we reached out to residents? So what we're going to do is, um, as you know, there's over 20 community block watch groups. We're going to go to each block watch group um, starting the end of this month and the beginning of November. And we're going to help people sign up right on the spot. And then the other thing they could do is if they go to our website, elizabethnj.org, on the left, uh, on the bottom left, there is a button that they can click to go right to the website. And if they want more information, there's a tutorial, which you did on YouTube, that they can watch before they sign up just to get 
an idea of how to register. Now, the YouTube, uh, you just spoke about the YouTube channel. What kind of content does it have? Well, our YouTube channel, which is Eliz uh, City of Elizabeth, one word, is, has this program, Our City, on it. And it also has other PSAs that you've done. And we're going to start putting more content on it. Twitter. You know, as you know, you just got me into Twitter and I'm tweeting. It's fun, it's fun in the middle of the night or at 1230 when I'm sitting there and I get an idea on the health care plan or what's going on in Congress in the state of New Jersey. I type my thoughts in. So social media programs like Twitter, Facebook, they going anywhere? They're here to stay? Yeah, you know what? They're here to stay, but uh, it may not be Facebook. It may not be Twitter. Um, we saw that with MySpace. MySpace is, is now for a whole different generation. It's for a different age group, and it's kind of slowly going away. And um, I was reading Time magazine, and Google came with this new thing called uh, The Wave. The Wave is, is uh, instant messaging, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook, uh, and email all together in one. So it's just growing. It's going to be changing. Um, but it is definitely something that's here to stay. I mean, everybody is hooked on it. And the funny thing about Twitter, I was sitting in the office and you called after you met with President Obama back in February. And I'm sitting there going, wow, wouldn't it be awesome to, to let everyone know that you just met the, uh, you know, a new president and, and what you were doing and talking about? And I thought, let's get him on Twitter. Let's see what happens. So the direction of the social media in regards to local government, municipalities, and residents, uh, because of the lack of newspapers, it's probably a way to reach out to people. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, readership in physical newspapers are down, but on the net, it's on the rise. And also colleges and other agencies have already started using things like Nixle to inform their communities about events and happenings in their town and neighborhoods. And this is very specific. This could literally be to your neighborhood and you can reach out to, to other places that you care about, like your workplace or where your child goes to school. And people could take themselves off a nickel whenever, nickel oh, whenever they want absolutely. and put themselves on. Absolutely. They can change the program. They can take themselves off the phone and just leave emails. And the other thing I want to make sure everybody knows is that we're not going to send propaganda. We're not going to send um, just commercials or anything. This is about neighborhood information, and that's all it is. Thank you, Bill Reyes, for being on the show. We appreciate it. Thank you. Fun to be here. For Bill Reyes and Lorraine Brooks-Body, I'm Chris Bolwage. We'll see you next week on another edition of Our City.